And as they say in church, let's make some noise. Soon and very soon. Come on. music today is the most arresting music of the 20th century. It's 20th century music, however, its roots lie in the 19th century uh, Negro spirituals uh, of the slaves. I'd like to think that this music had its beginning on that hot summer day in August of 1619 when 20 black men landed on the shores of the 12-year-old settlement of Jamestown, Virginia. They formed this circle, and as they would sing, they'd go, Oh, Jesus is the captain of the ship we're aboard. Oh, glory, hallelujah, is the old ship of Zion. Hallelujah. This is important because this is the first time that the Africans insinuate their culture and their musical tradition on Euro-American music. The song was written this way. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms but in the hands of the gospel singers <clears throat> first thing they're going to do is to personalize it vocally so that certain colors of the voice which are common to black speech are going to be put into the song then the idea of uh, of finding ways of extending it or shortening it to give it some um, personalization will come through and you get some, uh, an I idea like <clears throat> What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting. I, I want to tell you something. You haven't heard anything until you hear about 35 or 40 black people who know how to add the curlicues and flowers <laughs> that go along. Now, I'll, let me tell you how gospel music started. <clears throat> At the end of the Civil War, uh, actually in 1863 and 1865, slaves were released from slavery. Mm -hmm. And the ministers wished the slaves to drop the Negro spirituals because they considered them unsuited for a free people who were going to be educated. And that's when they picked up those Protestant hymns like, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Um, leaning on the everlasting arms. But there was a group of people who were still looking for a kind of music which had the, the simplicity, mm -hmm. the directness, the emotionalism which the Negro spirituals had. Because this is the first time that the Africans insinuate their culture and their musical tradition on Euro-American music. The bass of them, that's rather sorrowful. You take this song. Swing low, sweet child, coming for to carry me home. is when we began to get rhythm and blues, it is a combination then of the blues plus gospel with a little bit of the technique of jazz. And since that time, every type of music that has come along has had a little bit of the gospel in it. For example, the go we have something called a gospel rhythm. It goes like this. Surely, surely, Now that jo 
jaunting, that jaunting part of it is because instead of singing one, instead of having an, a, 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 an accompaniment that goes one, two, three, four, I am providing an opportunity for the people to clap their hands on some offbeats. So I go one, two, three, four. Very soon, we are going to see the king. Listen, altos. Tennis, soon and very soon bass. Soon and very soon. Let's try it. Just a minute. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Listen, just be, uh, before we sing this and I close out, I want to tell you what a pleasure it is to be here. Oh, the Lord and the Like the Negro spiritual therapy, which is going to help me get through some sort of experience, and I've got to purge myself by going in and finding out what this song can do to help me solve those problems. How I got over, how I got over, my soul looks back and wonder how I made it over. and wonder how I made it over, Lord, how I got over, I've been running all I've seen years. gospel rise from, from a black church music to a world music. I've traveled with one of the university chorales to the Soviet, what was the Soviet Union at that point, in Poland, in Hungary, in um, New Zealand, Japan. Australia, singing this kind of music. They all know what it is and they absolutely love it. So I'm, I'm rather proud of my, my participation in that kind of Thank him because he taught me. Thank him because he kept me. I want to thank him because he never left me. Then I'm going to join the heavenly choir. I'm going to sing and never get tired. My soul looks back and wonder how I made it over. Lord, how I got over. Tell me how I got over. Oh, Lord, my soul looks back and wonder how I got over.